We're here in MoMA storage with Pablo Picasso's glass guitar and bottle of 1913. He, along with other Cubist painters, notably Georges Braque and Joan Gris, had begun to introduce non-art materials into their fine art pictures, things like wallpaper or newspaper, a few snippets of which you see here. By contrast, what Picasso sets the task of doing is trying to build the collage of paint. The result is really one of Picasso's most complex paintings of the Cubist period in terms of its thatcher and the variety of its surface effects. So he used all these different tools and devices to manipulate his, his paint. Stencils, bits of cardboard to push up against the edges of paintings, these very sharp, distinct lines. Sometimes he would use, with a stencil that was cut, the jagged edges of his scissors right, would be translated over in, into the paint. Our conservators suspect that in some areas creating skins of paint, skins of white lead paint, and then literally applying those in these shape contours to the surface of this. So actually taking the material of paint and making it a, a collage element, literally. The Paris Surrealists, some um, people like Louis Aragon and André Breton, always insisted, in fact, that paste and paper were not essential to the making of collage. They really described collage as an operation that set out to produce a work of art that wasn't a seamless unity, that wasn't a coherent whole, that made you so forcefully apparent of the, the constructed nature. Picasso's always engaged with this game of the true and the false, the vrai and the faux, reality and illusion, and this picture sort of ups the ante of that game in this way that is absolutely remarkable.